Glorfindel must go to the house of Elrond and inform the Lord of the approaching goblins. Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sanders channel, my name is Shanks and today we are going to play the BFME 2 campaign House Ever in the Each of the Ring mod. The secret fire burns and look at the design at the bottom left side of your screen ladies and gentlemen, that looks dope. We have also Lorien warriors or they are called Majari here and of course we have Glorfindel himself, he looks dope. I like him. I Our point wise, we have the chance to pick the Elven gifts for 50% more damage for the heroes or the King's Foil, which is going to be something like heal from the spellbook for the sustain. However, I believe 50% more damage for the heroes sounds quite busted. And that's the reason why we are picking this one. Stay close to me. And please let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more Age of the Ring content on this channel. I'm actually quite interested in this campaign. It's been a really long time since the last time I played the BFME 2 campaign. And now, not only we are playing the BFME 2 campaign, but we are actually in the Each of the Ring mod. I've never been so close to Rivendell. All right, so we need to make it to Rivendell first. All right, let's help these Alvin warriors. They are also um, they are also able to control them. Let's give them actually the whole crown stance. This way they can absorb a bit more damage. You can also use this one, Song of Finway, for like a short duration, 33 percent more damage. I mean, I'm a player. I'm used to battle for Middle Earth One. You know what I'm saying? But I need to give credits to the amazing design and graphics from the Each of the Ring mod. The, you know, they made a phenomenal job. And if the BFME Reforge is going to be nearly as good as this BFME, you know, to the Rise of the Witch King, the Each of the Ring mod, then I'm already happy. Um, we have the revealed in Ref, Glorfindel temporarily gains 100% more damage. Spell, Glorfindel causes fear to nearby, nearby enemies in Nazgul. Stacks with spells, buffs, and leaderships. Sounds pretty nice. They are using something. I believe it's like the poison arrow. You can use the aggressive stance, Glorfindel. He's quite healthy. And he will unlock that with level 3. And we are all about to hit level 3 very, very soon. We have also Nora Lim, Osvaloth. Osfal Do you remember this scene, guys? With, you know, it was obviously Arvin in the films. You know, when she was getting uh, chased down by the Nazgul. And then she was bearing, you know, carrying Frodo. It was the scene, you know. But actually, in the books, that's what I heard. I've never read in the books myself yet, uh, but I heard that it was not Arvin who did that. It was actually Glorfindel, who unfortunately we have not been even uh, we have not been able to see in the actual film uh, films. All right, they are not fighting. They are waiting for us. <laughs> okay, now they are fighting. They are like, hold on a second. Shanks is not there yet. We need to wait until he arrives. Then they start fighting. Let's use this one for 33 percent more damage. It kind of compensates the damage lose from the whole crown stance, you know. So because we lose 20 percent damage, but we gain 10 percent increased armor, and movement speed doesn't really matter if you stand still and fight. It doesn't really matter anything. Okay, we defended this area. Beautiful, great, nice. So now let's make it to Rivendell, shall we? Front gate. I mean, again, I believe the last time I played the Battle for Middle Earth 2 campaign was like in 2014. So it's been a really long time, like six plus years. Uh, bring Glorfindel and his elves. Find Elrond and warn him of the incoming goblin invasion. Say no more, I got you. The hour of doom is near at hand. And guys, quick question to you. Uh, what BFME game do you like the most? BFME 1, BFME 2 or Rise of the Witch King? Please let me know in the comment section down below. I'm curious because I personally am used to BFME 1 and that's why BFME 1 is going to be always my little baby. And it's hard for me to, you know, vote for anything else but Battle for Middle of 1. Okay, that is Lord Elrond. Look at him, boys. Agent Smith looking for Mr. Anderson. What brings you back so soon, Elf? The goblins have come down from the mountains. They are approaching from the south. I sensed this day was coming. Long has Rivendell been safe from the servants of darkness. Its sanctity must not be lost. Goblins? I'll take care of the filthy wretches. <laughs> okay, we have Gloin and Elrond next Elven to each other. Builds more units invasion. from the dormitory. Hey man, say no more, I got you. We have the chance to recruit the eight Yari. I believe they are like pikemen. They are good against calf, siege and heroes. We have also Majari. These are the uh, swordmen. And also Quingar. These are the arches. However, they are actually quite expensive. And I I am actually having a, a really hard time to pronounce those names. They are 
I believe they are like meant to be hard to pronounce. What is the mission? Uh, I can't check this here from the flag because that's not like a campaign. That's like a custom map. Uh, we are supposed to recruit more units. We can also close the gate just for the worst case scenario. Um, I mean, oh, these are acting like towers. Okay. We can also get the swan feathered arrows later on. Oh, oh they are coming. Hey, don't kill the... Don't kill the civilians, man. They have not they have not done anything to you. Don't touch them. We have a bunch of Malone 3, so we will get eventually some more money very, very soon. I would like to upgrade that to level 3 for 25% faster build speed, but also the chance to recruit these elite warriors. However, you can see and tell, I mean, they are like a hero unit. You can only have one of these, and they are strong against everything. But they also cost more than normal heroes. They cost 2,500 each. I mean, with each, I mean, literally, you have only the chance to recruit one of them. I mean, losing buildings, I believe, is like a bad thing because we have not the chance um, to replace them. We have no builders. Okay, keep fighting. No problemo. Agent Smith is going to duplicate himself just like in the Matrix and take care of these. The hour of doom is near at hand. I mean, I'm also kind of sad that this guy is not actually in the in the films, in the in the most recent Matrix film. I was not able to uh, see yet. We are getting we some reinforcements, that's dope. So we basically, by holding left and right mouse all. button, you can actually, this you know, line them up like that. Changed. And this way, the swordmen slash the pikemen are going to be in the front line, and your archers are going to be in the back line, you know? Hope Guys, can you please move? Lost. Okay, finally, they are making Eagles a move. And we are command points capped, so we cannot do anything right now. This thing is slowly but surely leveling up. Maybe by actually buying one of the upgrades, it's going to level up a bit faster. We should be able to handle the situation, no problemo. Archers behind. Yeah. As Govmog would like to see. Pikes in front. Archers behind. More goblins are attacking from the west. I mean... They can't come from here. I mean, even if they do, we will have the time because the gate has 7,000 health. So, I believe... Oh, what is this, man? This giant is looking gigantic, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at this picture from him, too. He looks so really dangerous, but I believe we can still handle him. No problem, huh? Oh, the trolls are coming, too. Hey, back up. It's used. Revealed in Wrath. Okay, we can get also get mounted now. Mount as well off this mount. I don't want to be mounted. I want to be on... Okay. They handle the situation no problem. Uh, it's still not level three yet, but what we can do you is eventually we can. Have you is this it? No way, that's it, right? No way. Uh, Noldorin armor. So let's give them armor. This way they can become a bit tankier. It's now, ladies and gentlemen, the wife of King Eleza himself is arriving. We have destroyed a goblin there encampment. Okay, as we return, we notice, we notice more goblins setting up a camp on the, to the south, on the other side of the river. Sound the alarm! Goblins are coming! Okay, this so let's go to the spot. We must ride out and clear the valley of the goblin filth. Okay, we have also now lenses on the field from, you know, obviously. Hey, you know what? Let's get them. And they have also the chance to switch to bows. What is this name, my dude? Rokoantari? I'm pretty sure you guys will flee me. You are, you're gonna be like, Shanks, what, uh, what are you talking about? That's not how you're supposed to pronounce them. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Still not level 3. I cannot speak Middle-earth language yet. But I'm learning. Right out and meet them. For death and glory? No. For the Vandal. For our people. Trample on your face, son. Okay, no problem. You don't need to scream like that. They are all... We have also giant eagles now. Holy moly. That's dope. The eagles, the eagles are coming. As Peregrine took, have come to save us. would like to see. So I believe with the eagles we can literally e-click them. I don't think they can handle the situation. We are just too strong at this point. I believe. I don't want to jinx it though. And we will, I believe, also never get the chance to get this upgrade purchase because by the time this forge is hitting level three, we should, you know, we should be also already finishing this one. And the eagles, by the way, hey, hold on a second. Let's use the aggressive stance. Heroes and monsters, they will get more damage, more speed, and less armor. And I believe the eagles are either considered as heroes or as, mo as monsters. Glyne is level 3, my friend. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the daddy of Gimli. Herb Lord, left click to activate. 
And what is that? Wait a second. Allies near Gloin gain 15% more damage and 15% more armor. It's nothing too crazy. Like really, you know, low numbers. And also, by the way, you cannot choose difficulty here. That's not possible. So you basically have no open end. You just, you know, it's like a single player map. It's like a campaign kind of thing. But without this, you know, giant world map similar in to Battle for Middle Earth 1. But, I mean, these buildings, they are looking different. Even the workers. What, what is this? What is this picture, my dude? <laughs> Look at them. Look at the Lamarimil workers. They are looking like goblins now. Down, down to Goblin Town. Down, down to Goblin Town. Okay, I believe we are victorious. Just it's like that. We must destroy it. Oh, the worm is here. Hey, what? Hold on a second. Hold on, I have an idea. Let's use this one. And my dude, my dude, my dude, my dude, don't, 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 don't. I cannot take your responsibility. You guys, especially Arvin, because I believe she's quite squishy, you know? So let's use whole ground stance. The beautiful... I mean, I cannot even explain. The beautiful part about the whole ground stance is that in not any of these units slash heroes is going to automatically attack something, when even when they are, like, sitting next to them, you know? And we are victorious just like that because it was so easy let's actually go now into the second campaign um seems like we cannot skip those kind of conversations elrond agent smith looking look how he's looking for mr anderson I believe this was like the uh, the picture from the Battle for Middle Earth 2 when it was first released. Glorfindel and Glyn side by side. I mean, there are no dwarves, by the way. Glorf uh, Glyn is literally sent alone. And again, guys, that was the mission Revendel. We were actually running it down in about 11 minutes. And now we will go into the mission number two, the High Pass. And it, it you know... Obviously, you can pick whatever faction you want to play. There are multiple different factions in the Age of the Ring mod. But the recommended faction in this case is Revendel. So that's why we will stick up to this faction. I don't want to risk the biscuit by trying something else. I'm very curious now if we actually can keep the heroes we leveled up from the first mission. If they're going to be the same level like, you know, they were in the first mission. Or if they will be having a different level. I don't know. Hurry up! The attack on Rivendell came from farther north. But before we can track the evil to its source, we must clear High Pass of the Goblin Invaders. I mean, they are only level 3. I believe this guy was higher level than level 3. So basically, we, we, need to, we need to build Malone trees. And the shortcut for this one is this one. They are also called different. They are called Revandal or Card. And uh, resource buildings in BFME 2 slash in Rise of the Witch King are double effective. And the reason is simple, because they are not only giving you money, obviously, but also increasing your command points. So you want to build around 97-ish, but I believe it's not possible. And look at this beautiful fortress, man. This looks dope. Okay, we will build a dormitory uh, now to train more archers. You can also place them by holding the left mouse button, just like that. You know, it looks also beautiful. I want to place it like that, so I can actually... Uh, take a deeper look into that we have 15 power points collected let's go for the elvin gifts once again and um elvin wood sounds also pretty interesting but i guess the horn and this this trio you know this is gonna give it give you the same stats like the elvin wood and the foil is going to be like a sustain i believe that's overall a better choice and we also need a little bit more resource buildings so et the, dormitory the more percentage, the more money you will get. I have building supplies. Okay, so, um, hmm, Majari. Let's go for a level two. I have building supplies. And let's build more stuff. The zoom in is not like very great, but it's still better than the original zoom out from BFME 2. I don't know if you guys remember when you first time played Battle for Middle Earth 2 many, many, many years ago. You was literally forced to play like this, like this. This was your vision control. And it was, I mean, you really didn't know better, right? And you was kind of getting used to it. But nowadays, especially after playing multiplayer matches with this greater zoom out, 
going back to the original EA zoom is kind of painful for the eyes. Not gonna lie. Alright, so we have now these units. I'm pretty curious if we could just run them down. So you don't want to build around... Uh, it's actually bad to build like that, but it's... It is whatever. Can I get at least 60? No, 59. It's build a Dunadine gathering to train outriders. I will, I will. Um, This one. Oh my goodness, man. The buildings are looking dope. Look at this beauty, guys. Do you see this Alvin Barracks? There is one single guy. He's training against an invisible opponent. I mean, the design of the structures is... I don't know what to say. I'm in love with that. But again, playing this kind of mods, I believe you can get the full potential of this mod by Dunadine Rangers. Oh my goodness, look at this picture from them. They look dope. And what is that? Great company. Strong versus all normal troops and heroes. Requires the lay of Leitian from the library. Can stealth near trees. Only one unit of great company are allowed at, the, at any time. Gathered by Halbarat. Captain of the Dunedain, these cream-faced warriors rode south to aid Aragorn, their chief train. I mean, that sounds badass. Can I also go for the forge? Or they want me to build towers. And look at these towers, dude. Let's build two towers, you know, the Lord of the Rings and the two towers, you know what I'm saying? Destroy the goblin camp? Say no more, I got you. But, you know, don't ask me too much. I, I'm just still trying to get used to it. I'm not playing normally Age of the Ring, as you guys know. The enemy is These are the Dunodine Rangers. Oh, they're coming. Hold on a second. Okay, can I upgrade this? I can. Let's upgrade this a little bit. The builder. What the builder? Okay, actually, we got away without any problemos. Um, the, the, the groin was a little bit too late. Uh, the problem is going to be the money income. Uh, you know what? I want to I wanna actually build uh, the forge. So that's a well for the sustain. There's like a statue for additional command points slash hero um, slash leadership for a nearby allied unit. That's like a wall hub to save the builder. Uh, increase command points by 25. Okay. We have built this already. We have also built this one. Um, trains, hobbits, and men, of, men from Bray. Let's build this one, just to see what kind of possibilities we got. And at the forge. Oh, it's unavailable. Okay, you cannot build the forge in this mission. And that's what it is. Let's. I want to actually get one of these. You know, I want to play it a bit slow. I know you, you guys will hate me for that. But I want to see these two units. Remember, you are only allowed to have one of the great company. And you are also only allowed to have one of these and units i cannot pronounce name okay and we have also nah okay we can go for upgrades so we have the banners of gilgalad reduce hero cost by 10 reduces cost of builders by 20 provides additional experience to nearby troops then we have also song and merriment enables the recruitment of ah library uh, what is the li library? I cannot peel this anyway. So, We've the and then we have also Va Wardens of Imladris. Adds magic damage to the fortress to and to all attached towers. Obviously, you can, you know, on these mini spots around the fortress, the you can also build begun. stuff. Slay oh my them. goodness, my units are diving into deep. We cannot hold Even though down. they don't have the but aggressive stance, just go, back, just, go back, just go back, just go back, just go back, just go back. I'm actually very curious if we are even able to build this. I mean, we will find out. They cost a lot. Holy moly. Okay. I cannot build this, I guess. Can I? I'm not sure. Do not have sentries. This upgrade has been already purchased. Um, I have the money for that, but it looks like requires the layoff. Okay, so we need some sort of stuff from the library. Which we don't have but we are able to recruit these units they are the most expensive units from the elven faction so i have high expectations really high expectations our goal is to destroy these goblins and for that reason we will need a little bit more units 
Here we have also the chance to recruit some bounders, um, some, you know, took archers, you know, very green took. We have also Breland Town Guards. I believe they are like acting like pikemen. Then we have also the chance to go for the battering ram. And for that reason, we need to get it to level three first. And unexpected party. Ho, ho, ho. To the bottom. <laughs> and I go to heal my heart and draw on my woe. Read my fo What is that, dude? Can I recruit them? No. Oh my goodness. That's, that's actually party time. Okay, that's dope. Now we are getting the strong ones on the field, though. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. They look pretty strong to me. Um, I believe they are like the Galadrim warriors, you know? Because they have the chance to fight with either bows or swords. That's how they are looking like. Look at the design. I mean, I want to also zoom in into Glorfinder, just so you can see, like, the design from the heroes is kind of nuts. Watch this, guys. You see? You see that? Like, it's like HD, you know? It's like a game from 2021. Or even from 2022. And what is that? Veterans of many wars. The veterans have fought many battles and witnessed great triumphs and magic defeats. A tragic defeat. And are learned in the art of war. Nearby allied troops gain 25% increase in combat experience. Siege of a region. Okay. Um, modified type weapon. Stacks with leadership. Okay, that's like making them immune to knockback, trample and fear. They get like fear resistant and it's actually loading quite fast. Okay, before actually wasting more time, let's recruit some more of these archers. And they are not allowed, I guess. It's level 3, so let's recruit these ones and go ham. Go ham, go ham, go ham. We have also defense. Uh, we can even go for a greater defense. I mean, money is not a problem. I'm also pretty certain that you cannot buff these units. Like these ones, you know? I, I guess you cannot buff them. Look at their range, though. They are shooting from downtown. They have like a silver tone arrow, so you cannot upgrade them. Fall of Engma. The veterans fought alongside Glorfindel in the dec decisive battle against the Lord of Engma. Melee attacks temporarily deal area of effect damage and additional damage versus structures. Range attack, attack speed is increased. And uh, you need to be level 5 for that. Anyways, uh, now we are full command points. Um, we can just go ham. Just go ham. I'm gonna right click here. So we can create these goblins, no problemo. We have also a lot of money. So let's get this one. To add some more magical damage to the fortress. And all attached towers, which we have not. Uh, but the, you can build them, you know, obviously. And we are command... Ah, uh, maybe we can actually get even more units by building more stuff. Remember, each of these is going to increase our command points by 50. So maybe money is not a problem, but we can, you know, instead of getting money and focus, focusing on the resources, we can just try to get as many command points unlocked as possible. Glorfindel hitting like a truck. Okay, we will just run it down. Hold on a second. Glein, do you have, um, what is that? Baru Kazad. Nearby Dwarven units, which is not being the case, will get additional speed bonus and experience. Looks like Leap Attack to me a little bit. Um, he has also the Ventor Capitalism. And last but not least, Secret Ways. So he looks like a more sportive hero in this one. Even though in normal BFME 2 slash in Rise of the Witch King, he's like a siege monster. With Shake Foundation, with Slam, and of course with the Shatterhammer, you know? Here he looks like more like a sportive hero. Um, looks like we want... Oh, we need to kill the mountain giant. See no more. Um, looks like we are not allowed to have more than 600 command points. But we can just spam towers at this point, right? Oh, they were actually closing it. But it's fine. Let's build towers left and right. I remember this mission. Very good. Goblins, they don't care. They can go over this, you know? They can trample, right? They even go through it. If you don't know, the goblins have the ability to go over anything they want. So they, can't, they can pretty much climb walls and gaze. So building walls against goblins is not the, the best thing in the world. Get in safety. These units, they shouldn't be able to touch us. Can you please destroy this? Okay, we are building double tower in on this on each side. Okay, and give them also... We have so much money, we can do whatever we want, really. We will also get more money from creeping the lair, so... Pretty good, pretty good. 
double tower around this side too and maybe we can send one of the builders with the army why because this way they can eventually build those wells you know the well of <clears throat> sorry the well of celebrian um because it looks beautiful and also provides us with sustain okay glorfindel is almost level four and i don't know the game sound was really quiet we remember guys why don't you move it's wall Select a fortress, build, pilot, and construct a watchtower so we can better defend our base. Okay, no problem. I got you. And this is one of the bonuses. Say no more. I mean, we can afford it, right? So it's not a big problem. Huh? Double tower here too. That's beautiful. Okay, so we should be in a good spot. Okay, we are losing a little bit amount of the units. The mountain giants... They are not hurting. They seem to look, they look dangerous. They look very strong. However, their DPS against the units is not the greatest. Building materials. Stand by your side. Okay, so let's come to this spot and you, my friends, build them. You can also come here as soon as possible. I mean, you know, more money never hurts, right? More money never hurts. So let's build one of these. And you can also build a well maybe right on the spot the shortcut for this one is g but let's not hesitate and let's go ham caves, so they never come back the fighting has begun the fighting has begun i'm here where are they they're coming from the other side Aldir is trapped on the bluff to the north we must rescue him it's an ambush Okay, uh, what is happening actually? Who is this, Haldir? We must rescue Haldir. Rescue him. Okay, say no more. Let's e-click to the spot. Uh, spot. I mean, we have double towers here, and what we can do eventually is get those to the out of these towers because I believe they would, they should not make it to the spot anyway. And this way, we can protect this area from further, far away. Now, where is the second to This one is level three already, by the way. Where should we build? The okay, you, my friend, um, build also towers. From above. I want to I wanna build a tower actually here. My All of the mountain giants building. have been killed. There was Can one of the bonus objectives, completed. which you cannot uh, you know, check in this one. So Heidi is fighting. He looks like a very strong dude, even though he, in films he was getting killed quite easily. <laughs> Poor Heidi, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I knew it. I knew tools. it. Protect the builder. Protect the builder. Build, 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 build Aldir stuff. In Get into in safety. ASAP. Aldir is fighting, my dude. But just use the whole ground stance. Um Okay. March ward March Warden of Lothlorien. Haldir guides Allied its leadership, right? What? Wait! From one location on the map to everywhere on the map. Holy quacamole. Hold on a second. That's a big idea. Big brain alert. The builders are healing up. Let's build more towers, more towers, more towers. Because we can afford it. Okay, we can fight this, no problem. I want to actually use heal. Heal is like a, in a big area. However, in compared to battle for middle of one, it's way less effective. Destroy the goblin king and uh, goblin camp and drive them from the past. I have an idea for that. Kill this once foes. first. You know, that's the plan. Money. We don't even need to pick the money. We don't need that, really. You would stand against me. And also, the towers are building up literally in no time. I, I, I was gathering a lot of these. I mean, we are we are command points kept, so I cannot gather any more units. He has even fire arrows. But it's fine. We can fight this, no problemo. You can see the fire animation. They are burning and they are running wild, you know? So they made it a bit more realistic. Level 5. Okay, so the plan is simple. I don't know. What is this? What is what is the range? Okay, I know the range now. Let's stay all together. Hide it, my friend. You use this one. And we go right here. Boom. Teleport. Yes! Look at that! We are teleporting. Let's use Rallying Horn. For 50... Did they actually all come? No. Haldir himself couldn't... Uh, okay, he cannot teleport himself? Or what is going on? I don't know. Maybe he was not in the, in the circle. I don't know. 
But I'm just walking anyway. It's okay. We have Glorfindel here. Let's use the reveal in Wrath. 400 percent more damage. That's how he's looking like. Look at him, boys. Look at him, boys. He's sitting like a truck. Okay, you use also your swords, please. I want to see the sword damage against the towers because the archers themselves, unless they have fire arrows, purchased. Hold on a second. Can you please kill this watcher? Is this guy permanent? Yeah, that's guy. This guy is permanent. Yeah, he's sitting like a truck. Oh, but he's also getting knocked back. Okay, that's what it is. Um, you guys have to assist and kill the Watcher, please. Because melee units are kind of bad against them. Melee units seem to be extremely bad against them. Uh, but also archers are bad against them. He's even healing up, right? I mean, we damaged him and he's back to full HP. You gotta kill those towers, though. Haldir, can you also please shoot him? That would be awesome. Uh, with your swords, if potentially possible. Uh, with your bow, I mean. Okay. I mean, we are losing a lot of units to the Watcher. As long as, as our heroes are alive, we should be fine. In those kind of missions, if you lose your heroes, you will be doomed. And you will have to start from the beginning. So watch out. Don't lose your heroes. Surround them. Like, you see, melee attackers have no chance against them. And he actually kills every single one of these. You know what? I like Dunadine units. So let's recruit Dunadine units exclusively. We have so much money. Holy moly. Hey, don't die, please. I need you. Okay, you guys go back. Please don't die. I mean, slowly but surely. You know, slowly but surely. We have only Swordman. What is that? Uh, Miri War. Elven units regain health while outside of combat. Okay. Get them hold down stands. This way they don't make any, any bad moves. And it's a matter of time, we will be able to destroy it in no, in no time. More Dunadan Rangers, that's good. We have also the chance, if you wanted to, to recruit Dunadan Outriders. You, you know, like, you can say and tell that this mod, the Age of the Ring, has plenty of new units slash heroes slash factions. So, if you are interested in this kind of casual play style of Battle for Middle-earth games, maybe Age of the Ring is your style and you should give it a try. Of, of course, you can download that mod when you have the BFME 2 and the Rise of the Witch King installed quite easily by double clicking on the exe fire and run it and um, the only thing you need to be aware of is that you need to make sure that your bfme 2 is on the patch 1.06 and your rise of the witch king is on the patch 2.2 2.02 version 8.0.1 and minimal music has to be enabled as well as the timer has to be disabled i mean doesn't sound quite easy but actually it is not the hardest thing in the world in compared to a, a dean mod Age of the Ring mod seems to it seems a little bit more easy to get it running on your PC. I mean, stop saying to me that I'm supposed to train archers. You know, I'm I know that I'm actually very Show kind of disappointed no from the damage of these units because they cost 2,500 each, and with Haldir together, they need ages to kill this Watcher, the Kraken. More units are coming, but they have no chance. Come on now, they have literally no chance. I believe these structures here from the goblins are working as like a tower and look at this beautiful tower design and also at the same time as like a tunnel system you know the watcher is defeated but the goblin camp okay so we can destroy the goblin camp no problem okay kill this goblin camp i mean i'm impressed dude i'm impressed by the design of the goblins look at that moria orc archer is this the last building? That's the question. We are also getting more archers from this area. Let's see. Maybe we are supposed to destroy every single one of these. Nah, never mind. That's it. So we played in less than 40 minutes two of the missions. And there are not many missions left. So please let me know, guys, in the comment section down below if you want to see more videos about this in the future on the YouTube channel. And, you know, also once again, I want to remind you to the question. Which, which PFME game do you like the most? Battle for Middle of 1, Battle for Middle of 2, or Rise of the Witch King? Please make sure to answer me in the comments below because I'm curious. You know, I want to provide you guys content which you are looking for. And for that reason, the more I know about you, the better it is for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Until then, have a fantastic holiday time during the Christmas. Keep hitting like a track. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, stay beyond standards. Peace out.